Naples in the 18th century, once the Bourbon Charles III became king, experienced a fantastic renaissance of where the arts were concerned. With architecture, we had Van Vitelli, and he created a new Naples, a Baroque Naples. And today, Naples, you can still see, is a palpable result of this Renaissance. Music in Naples, of course, because music is an essential part of the artistic scene, um, was literally in a state of explosion, with Francesco Durante, Jomelli, Astorga, so they were wonderful composers and of course there is a connection with Malta too because Maltese composers went and studied in Naples with Francesco Durante. Um, there was a wonderful, wonderful um, explosion of music and the Ghislieri choir and consort Um, led by Giulio Prandi, will be performing a second concert in the cathedral in Imdina, the Metropolitan Cathedral, on Friday the 19th of January. Something to be said about this music. Um, it reflects the beauty of Naples, they say, see Naples and die. Um, it is a, Naples is a fascinating city even today, living in the shadow of a volcano that might blow up in a minute. Uh, when you think there is something febrile in the uh, in the makeup of Naples, which even today you can see with the what I call their attitude to life of the Neapolitans. So the music is extremely rich and it is extremely emotional and Giomelli, beautiful Giomelli, Durante, the wonderful Salve Regina, the Stabat Mater, they are going to be gems the like of which we have never heard before in Malta. <laughs>